Welcome back to Life is Aisha and today we're doing a shoe unboxing and review of the Jordan 5 Retro Fire Reds. I finally got them in my hand. Um, let me just get into that real quick before I do the unboxing. I did cop these on the shock drop that Sneakers did. Um, if you're aware of that, they did a shock drop on the Sneaker app, which was the day that the um, Michael Jordan documentary that's on like Netflix and ESPN, it premiered. It's called The Last Dance. So it was either during the first or the second episode when they did the shock drop. And luckily I got the notification and I was ready and I got it in and I got my got them sticker. So yeah, I was extremely happy about it up until I realized that my sneakers were going to be delayed. I placed that order, I want to say on April 19th, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, or April 20th. And they just shipped today. So today being May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo to everyone. I mean, I'm not Mexican, but I enjoy a good taco, you know, Taco Tuesday. Yada, yada, yada. But anyway, so yeah, and I'm just not getting, getting them today. It was projected that I was going to get them at least by May 1st. The actual release date of the shoe was May 2nd this past Saturday. And I didn't even get them before the really, the actual release date. So I'm just like, okay, what are you doing, Nike? What's going so on? So I'm like, okay, they're going to be delayed, whatever. I'm not in a rush to get them anyway. So I really didn't care. Then I got another email saying, oh it's basically been delayed again so that's when i emailed them myself and the guy was basically explaining something happened at the factory um because if you didn't know the biggest distribution center for nike is located in memphis which is the next state over from where i live at so that's where all my shoes and different things you know ship from anyway so i guess i could understand that but they didn't give me a you know a code on my next purchase so I'm like, y'all still are getting, gonna get more business from me, but I guess I take that, you know. But, um, yeah, so let's just get right into this unboxing. I literally just got this shipment. Um, of course, I'm still working from home. I'll be done working from home this week, so next Monday I'll be going back in. But I did get my box here. Um, who else doesn't like that they put the Just Do It sticker on the box? So everybody knows exactly what's in the box. They know it's something from Nike, which can be a hazard. Um, I know when I was staying in my apartment, I know I would not have liked it. But because I am at home um, and I know all my neighbors, my neighbors are my family. I don't have anything to worry about. But yeah, that's just, you know, something that's not necessarily great. So... We are cutting this box. I did get these in the six and a half youth. Um, youth size, that's like equivalent to a size eight in women. Um, to me, fives run small, so I always go a half size up. I went a half size up in my um, off-white fives. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to click up here and check it out. And yeah, so I'm excited that we're actually getting these boxes now. This was typically the men's box. Um, and finally, kids size shoes are getting boxes like this i remember um years ago they would always give grade school like the little shabby looking just a regular white and black jordan box and i used to always hate that because me and my brother we used to get shoes together and his box would be like so much better and extravagant versus how mine looks so um this is the air jordan 5 retro i was mentioned it's the fire red um they retail for 140 and it's the six and a half i will show that Real quick to you, open the box up, just have a regular normal tissue paper, nothing special about that. And these are the shoes right here. So let's pull these out. The cool thing about this pair, which is why I really wanted it versus some of the um, last pairs that released, it does have a Nike Air branding on the back. Um, this was a pair that I never did get a chance to get, so I was happy that I did come up on this pair, even though um, I thought I was going to get it early on the shock drop, but oh well, I didn't have to wait to the release date to actually purchase the shoe. So I'm going to start at the bottom. You have the trans translucent sole, which is super cool. I love um, the icy sole. It just has the Jumpman logo underneath of it. It has Jordan right here in black. And see that okay moving to the midsole of the shoe it's black and it has like this red kind of zigzag design on on the top of it shoe is comprised of basically all leather the tongue of the shoe does have like this metallic material and they actually i've never seen this in a five well at least unboxing my shoe it has like a little insert here so i will take that out that's kind of interesting 
I don't know if that's something new or I just hadn't bought fives in forever. Because like I said, the last the last pair of fives I bought before my um, off-white ones was some years ago. Like I probably was in college. So um, it just has the Air Jordan right here stitched in the inside of the tongue of the shoe. Lace like here. Um, I'm not, I'm one of those people, I'm not a, a big fan of the lace like on the fives. Um, sometimes I, I used to take them off actually. But now I try to wear them and I just kind of like... Have it where my lace, so the lace is kind of like sticking out. But of course, when I put it on, this will be much shorter or won't, won't be as long. But yeah, that's kind of how I try to wear them now. This is the part of the shoe um, that will more than likely get yellow. The sole and the um, like this little plastic covering inside the shoe, and that part right there, real, it will yellow over time, um, just like the bottom of the shoe will. I have a pair of fives, and I don't have them handy, but if I did, I would show you all. May insert a pic of how this part will yellow the shoe is basically almost all white and it has like a little hint of black and red in the inside of the shoe i'm happy i did get this pair from what i can see it is you know made very well the leather is really nice on it like it really feels really nice um it's very well put together i don't really see like any glue or anything that um or any stitching out of place you know a grade school pair you have to kind of be leery of that that's basically all I have to say about the shoe. I will pull out the right shoe so we can just do a little side by side of each shoe. So here you go. But like I said, um, you've seen one review, you've seen them all at this point in time. I wanted to get my review up a little bit quicker, but unfortunately I was not able to. I'm happy that I did come across this pair. Um, I probably won't wear it anytime soon. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this review. Like I said, just short, quick, and straight to the point. So, were you able to get this pair of shoes? Um, let me know down below. Did you cop on a shock drop? Did you just cop on a regular release date? If you did cop on a shock drop, when did you get your pair of shoes? Like, did it take you forever to get your pair? Have you gotten your pair yet? Yeah, let me know down below. Do you like this shoe? Um, what are your thoughts and on as it? always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.